Welcome back. This is Espresso only on SABC3. And I'm always excited on Fridays because our car guys, Gavin Anturo from OverdriveTV.co.za, joins us to give us the latest in motoring news. Guys, good morning. Welcome on our purple couch. Well, morning, Stacey, Ewan. Back on the couch. Yeah, right? man. Yeah. So, so this morning, I believe, there's very interesting news mm, that you're is. bringing. So some uh, news from the world of cars, this yeah. time from Opel. They're bringing out a small car, which we only have spy photos of at this point. It'll probably get here by 2013, by next year. And it's got an interesting name. Yeah, we were actually talking to the makeup girls backstage and they said girls can't remember names of cars because cars always give them like numbers, like 714, <laughs> So the Opel's yeah. actually <laughs> thought about this and they've called this one the Opel Adam. Adam. So yeah, so people, <laughs> you can't forget someone who's named Adam. And uh, the reason it's called Adam actually is because it's named after the founder of Opel, who is Adam Opel, who started, <laughs> off, who started off making sewing machines. And uh, this is a small car, so... It'll probably have about the same amount of power as those early sewing machines. <laughs> now, there are unconfirmed reports that there's an Eve on the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. But the Adam will have one less part than the Eve. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, 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 we could we go, go we on with that. Uh, jokes, I mean, jokes all day. Yeah. I mean, we can't mock small cars because this is what we're going to have for the next yeah. 10 years. Small I mean, cars with small petrol engines. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, I've received the best news I've heard in about 15 years the other day that the hydrogen age is coming, the hydrogen engine, and it is they are going to sound exactly like petrol engines. Which yeah. is fantastic. So basically, Great they're news. just going to have, they're going to be running on water. The, the the air that comes out of them will be cleaner than the air that went in. So we'll basically have high powered purifiers. And <laughs> you can't <laughs> wait for that. That's because yeah. you know, so, no. deep red. We're going to be just breathing clean air for once. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So that's BMW's plan for 2025. Yep. They want to have hydrogen yeah. cars uh, in Main Street, in the mainstream. But in the meantime, they've given us a hybrid five. Okay. Yeah. yeah which no. uh, which Liesl yeah. and I went on the launch of last week. It's a nice challenge. Let's go check that challenge out quickly. Yeah, see you back this is interesting. That. So what do Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt and the family in the TV series Modern Family have in common? Well, they all drive one form of hybrid car. And Chiro from Overdrive TV has invited me to test drive a brand new hybrid that's hit South African shores. I'm super excited. Hi. Great to be with you today. Thanks morning, for this. Morning. No, thank you. Alrighty, so this is the brand new BMW Active Hybrid 5. So we are probably the first people in South Africa to point a camera at it, I think. We are, definitely. <laughs> but I think the, the best way to learn about this car is if I challenge you to something. We're going to do a loop around Cape Town. Person who uses the least fuel wins. Now, how am I going to know that? Okay, so the car is going to measure our average fuel consumption. Okay. And the best thing about this is this hybrid runs totally on electric power up to a certain speed. So when you're in stop start traffic in Cape Town city center, you won't be using petrol at all. Chiro hopped behind the wheel to drive them to the starting point. This car marks the first of three hybrid models to be introduced by BMW South Africa. Three and seven series hybrids will follow sometime next year. This is what we're going to do. We're going to start from here and we're going to come back to here. I'm going to start. I'm going to set a consumption for you to beat. And we're just going to do a little loop. We're on Signal Hill now. We're going to go down to the Table Mountain traffic circle, down into traffic, because that's where this car will spend a lot of its time. Do a loop around by the waterfront and come back up. Then we'll swap and you see if you can beat me. Okay. All righty. Okay, so what sets this car apart from any normal BMW 5 Series is one, a very big battery pack in the boot, so you do lose a bit of boot space, and two, an electric motor which is linked directly to the petrol motor. So if you're unfortunate enough to have to sit in traffic in a city like Johannesburg, uh, and you're bumper to bumper and the car's not going above, say, 20, 30 k's an hour, the petrol motor will actually not turn on at all. So you could go for however many kilometers without using a single drop of petrol. Don't expect the resounding thrum of an engine when you press the start button. The BMW has a silent startup. Visually, it can be told apart from other 5 Series models by bespoke touches, which include galvanized kidney grill slats and exclusive blue water metallic paint. Okay, so what you're seeing here is an exercise in patience, which Liesl seems to have a lot more of than me. She's doing much better than I am. We're on the uphill run now, and she's at 2.5 meters to the 100, which is just unbelievable for a car of this size. So the duo took turns to drive a five kilometer circle route. Who do you think made optimal use of the six cylinder turbocharged engine with the high voltage lithium ion battery pack that supplies this green machine with sustenance? Stay tuned to find out. 
Now that is a cool car, the BMW <laughs> Active Hybrid, but I'm very curious as to who won that challenge. Okay, so I did. You did? <laughs> yeah, just, just but very, very, very slightly. I think Liesl scored 10.7 to the 100 and I scored 10.5 to the 100. Which um, time is pretty impressive. Which is not too bad, but mm. you know what? I spoke to the BMW guys afterwards and they said that the best way to measure fuel consumption is to put a little bit of fuel in the tank, see how far you go, and when it runs out, or drain the tank later and see you know, how much yeah, fuel you've that's used. How, that's so, how they do economy runs. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, how they yeah. do economy runs. Yeah. yeah. That's fantastic. It's a, it's a really cool car. You, you won't believe the feeling of just being in a totally silent, huge BMW, how cool that yeah. feels in traffic. And I mean, there's ample power, it's fine. <laughs> Loads I mean, of power. When that engine switch over, you don't feel it. Yeah. Totally, totally, totally seamless. That's incredible. <laughs> Guys, thank <laughs> you so, so much for joining us this morning. Oh, Cheers. Well done, Let me check you out. You are, you are, you won. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you can. You can follow these guys on Twitter at Overdrive TV. Go check them out and you can find all the latest news on motoring. Right now, though, we have Simba from Top Billing in studio and he's giving us a bit of an inside info as to what has been happening at the Top Billing Presenter Search Auditions. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.